Hi, I'm Arjavi, and I'm a biomedical engineering major. Hi, I'm Paul. I'm a mechanical engineering major. Are you ready to compare majors? Let's get into it. First question, what does your major actually involve? Mechanical engineering is pretty much solving problems around anything that is a system. How do we make things more efficient? How do we make machines more efficient? It's basically thermodynamics, physics, all of that applied to what you see around you every day. Yeah. What about BME? It's kind of the same where we, we take those basic math and physics core examples, but we apply it more towards the human body. And so we also learn a little bit more about bio. We learn a little bit more about human physiology. And so that when we are designing these solutions to help humans, we could specifically tailor it to the way the body works or the way different organisms operate. Next question. What types of careers are possible from your major? That's a good thing about mechanical engineering. It's very broad. So anything you could think of has a mechanical engineering component. What you come here to be you, you take a bunch of classes that teach you a little bit about something, and then you go, I really like that. You go in depth into it, and you could make a career out of these things. Aerospace, structural, uh, materials, anything you can think of is a possibility, which I really find really exciting. For BME, there are so many different career paths you could take. You could go into the pharmaceutical and drug delivery industry, and so that's developing those vaccines and those different types of drug assays. And then you could also go into medical devices and surgical devices. You could also go into research after graduation, get a PhD. BU also makes it really easy to implement the pre-med track into biomedical engineering, mm -hmm. and so if that's something you want to go into as well, um, you'd have to take maybe a few more classes, but it's very doable. If I may, I'm going to ask you a next question. Where on campus do you spend most of your time? Ingalls. That's the engineering library, and I feel like I've definitely had a lot of long nights. It's also one of the few spaces on campus where we could be there 24 hours a day. Next question. How much homework do you have? A lot. <laughs> we have a lot of homework. My most memorable professors have made it so that I know why I'm learning these things rather than just, hey, look, here's your homework. You have to find it in the book and solve it. It's more like, hey, do you know what this is going to be for and how it's going to look when you graduate, what you're going to use it for, where it's going to be applied. I think the first two, two and a half years is very homework heavy. We have our physics, our core physics. We have four levels of calculus, um, two levels of chemistry, level of bio, a level of um, human physiology. I would be spending like 20 hours a week on homework, but then it definitely eases up towards junior and senior year because that's more project-based. And so it's less homework and more collaboration and projects. I think the most fun part about all the homework that I've been through is how many partnerships have come from and how many friendships. Oh yeah. Because everyone is struggling with the same thing. So For sure. We get together in a library, okay, how do we solve this? We have no idea. Okay, let's start and try to figure it out. Most of my good friends have come out from classes where we've had a lot of homework. So that's really cool here at BU too. Great, that was fun. Thank you for telling me about your major. Thank you for telling me about yours. It was really fun to learn about BME. For sure. Thank you for your time.